have hundreds of these bathing beauties taken over this Brazilian riverfront? After looking at those teeth, you might want to relax poolside instead. It looks like caimans have invaded. But don't fret, this is perfectly normal caiman behavior. The changing wetland landscape of the Pantanal region that spans Brazil, Bolivia, and Paraguay means that in dry season, caimans congregate in the limited water they can find. And on riverbanks, these reptiles soak up all the sun they can get. Relatives of crocodiles and alligators, they're cold-blooded. They sunbathe to maintain their internal body temperature, which means coming ashore and dominating all that prime beach real estate. You're mine now. By the looks of it, it seems like caimans are taking over Brazilian beaches. In reality, the caiman population relies heavily on conservation efforts. Due to illegal hunting and habitat loss, they are at risk of extinction. There are only 25,000 to 50,000 black caimans left in the wild. They are one of the larger species of caiman with a fully grown adult measuring about six meters in length. Imagine confronting a reptile as long as two basketball hoops stacked on top of each other. But caimans come in all shapes and sizes. On average, they tend to be small, with some species reaching only one meter in length. And where I stand, that is plenty big. If you're a detail person, a caiman more closely resembles an alligator than a crocodile, with a rounded snout and overbite. Because of their striking resemblance, people often mistake them for their better-known relative. Looking at that mean mug, I wouldn't want to show any disrespect. No thanks, I choose life. The black caiman's dark skin is like a fashion statement. It's an essential look, suitable for both daytime and nighttime. During the day, the dark color absorbs the sun's rays, ensuring it stays at the perfect body temperature. But at night, their skin becomes camouflage. Unsuspecting prey won't know they're being stalked by a caiman until it's too late. Caimans have proven themselves to be excellent hunters. They seem to enjoy a challenge. While their short, squat bodies work best in the water, they're not afraid to attack those who reign over the animal kingdom on land. They'll successfully battle cougars and jaguars. Yeah, I think they've won the right to hang at the top of the rest of the Amazon's biggest predators. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> but what about humans? Will we have to fend off caimans with our beach umbrellas next time we want a little fun in the sun? In the last 20 years, there have been 80 reported caiman attacks, which is not so bad in the grand scheme of things. But some people have died from their injuries. The lucky ones survived relatively unscathed maybe with just a cool scar, accompanied by an epic story, no doubt. Caimans do not seek out human sparring partners. They shy away from people and only attack when they feel threatened. I, for one, am more than happy to give them their space. Giant otters, however, who share the Amazonian waters with caiman are a lot braver than I am. You can find out how they do it in this video. Sunbathing on the beach and wrestling to win top spot on the food chain is what caimans do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.